not a teacher. Well, I, I am a teacher. The irony is not going to be there. William's having a fit, and so he's gone to bed. A D. This is a D cup. D cup. C cup. Hopefully they won't double refund me. I thought I would do a vlog style video today. I haven't done one in absolutely ages because I've been doing decluttering videos or shopping hauls and things like that. But actually I miss documenting our life and just chatting to you. It's just really nice to chat. So I thought I would do a vlog style video today just showing what uh, an average Tuesday looks like for us in lockdown. I got up late today and uh, yesterday was pretty much a write-off as well because I just, I'm not sleeping. I'm so tired. Um, so I, it's been really difficult to try and focus or, or get anything done when you're so tired but this morning I've already taken um, I'm really bad at taking vitamins and things but I have had this for absolutely ages it's ferroglobin um gentle iron and that and it's iron deficiency is definitely something that I struggle with so I've taken that I hate tablets I hate tablets so I've taken that and um I'm hoping that if I just keep taking it every single day, that will help with my tiredness and everything. But um, yeah, I'm just, uh, just going to do the kitchen now because I was really lax yesterday and I didn't really do much tidying or keeping on top of anything at all uh, because I was just so tired. So I thought, right, I'm going to start the day as I mean to go on. I've already had my Frosties. I had my Frosties this morning. I got um, an eight pack from Groupon. Um, so, uh, I've already had my Frosties and I've got enough Frosties to last me at least a week. Um, and yeah, so it's time to get on. Sometimes you just get, I don't know if that's showing up on here, probably not, it's a bit too bright. Oh, there you go. Like, it just doesn't clean. Doesn't clean. It's so frustrating. But my plan for today is to, um do a bit more schooling with the children because I've been a bit lax with that as well. I've just not really done that much with them recently because we just got a bit bored of it. You right, babe? Mm. Can you go and um, look on Edmodo and see what needs to be done today? Oh, Google Classroom, whatever. Um, because it's just been so boring just doing it all the time. Um, no, I'm not a teacher. Well, I, I am a teacher, which the irony is not lost on me there. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm not their teacher, I'm their mother, and I just, I'm just tired of teaching them all the time. Because it's just, they're, not even, they're not even bad, they don't mind doing it, but I can see it just affects them. So. Right, what are you going to do today, William? Yeah. What are you going to do today? Marbles. Marbles? Where are they all? They're in the shop. Oh, okay. I mean... Oh. Right. So, this needs putting somewhere. Three. Two, three, five, two. Oh. Tidy it up then, don't you? 
Okay, so why is this your favourite book? Sir, duck in the truck there. You watching? Why is it your favourite book? You like it when you get stuck in the mud. Why should other people read this book? What would, what bits would they like about it? You're done? Then you do another activity. I'm done too. Yeah, but there's still, like, it's it's not even, it's 11 minutes past 9 o'clock, Grace. Where am I meant to get to? Like, 11 o'clock? A morning of work? Come on now. Hmm. Look at something else to do. Um, what was good about it? What was good about the book? Uh -huh. uh, the date today is the 9th of June 2020 and it is two. you don't have a drink darling do you? Oh that was from dinner yesterday I don't know what I can look at your puzzle. Have you done it? Yes. Wow, you're so clever. Good job, babes. Are you proud of yourself? Go on then, let's go and get you a drink.
go upstairs. You can carry on playing. I'm gonna go upstairs and get dressed, okay? You don't need any sweets. Right. It's like putting teeth doing work, honestly. This, with half term, and I mean, half term was only a couple of weeks ago, but um, it's like they've forgotten how to do work. So Grace is like, oh, I've done something for five minutes. I'm done now. No, not quite, love, not quite. But anyway, I'll make my bed first, hang on. So while they are doing um, work on the tablets, which oh, I'm so tired of tablets and having everything online but that's what the school set them so I can't well I could not do it but it's it does benefit me because it means I can get on with some work so while they are just doing um the things that their school have set them I'm going to get on with some blog work um trying to catch up with some posts that I need to have written that I haven't written um so I'm just gonna I'm no what do TT rock stars then um so hard to concentrate, so hard. Of course the, dead. the battery's dead, of course it is. We've had to stop doing all of our work because my husband, who is in the office working from home, has just, well, he texted me and I didn't see my phone. Um, but then he rang the house phone and was like, are you all killing the internet in there? I'm trying to do work, so. It's probably because he shut the door. Probably because he shut the door and stopped the Wi-Fi, but um, I don't know what this is doing. Hello. Um, but yeah, so we've all had to stop what we're doing. We don't really know what to do now, do we? I finished. You finished your book? Yeah. Oh, very good. She's just read the one, the, is it the nearly last one? No. The Order of the Third Phoenix. The last. Okay. Speed weeds, all okay. of that. Yeah. It's crazy. But um, yeah, no, I don't know what what we can do now. I so read that in three days. She read it in three days, by the way. I can't see what? That one. What do you mean? I can't see the answer, but it won't let you scroll in. There we go. Just tap that on the screen and then the pad goes away. Uh, 6.50, yep. 6.05. Oh no! Once it's done, it's done. That's really stupid. I know. So at last time I did. Oh no, 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 look. What? Rubber. And I just rubbed it out. Oh, okay. See ya. But yeah. Okay. Two. 
Okay, no, so... No, shall I hand it in then? Yeah. Oh, no. I need to do number two. Oh, yeah. Number two. Okay, so... Well, then you also need to do number three, so don't hand any of them in. Like, you do number two today, but don't hand them in because there's also a number three on there. I won't. I won't do number no. three, though. No, you can do that. So it's the same. So you've got a number missing and you have got a number there. So the way to do it is to put the answer in your head. So 20 in your head. I'm going to count back six. So put six on your fingers. We're going to count back to find what that missing number would be. So 20. So quarter to three. 14. Let's just double check it. Now, you, so 14 would be there. So biggest number in your head, 14, and six oh, on your fingers. It's hard. 14, 15. Five past eight. 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 So it is. So the answer is 14. Correct. How have you made so much mess already? Because we've been playing a spy. here and you know that seven of them already you know seven of them one two three four five six seven you know about seven of them so what does the rest of them add up to what are doing checking them yes please white one. Oh, is it? Bill's the white one. Who's the blue one? Did you ever say? No. I'm sure it's something like Charlotte. It is. It's like it has a star. It has a star. I don't remember. No. Oh, oh, I just came back to me. I forgot it again. Oh, they, were, they were, they were, they were, they were Thingy pals, pipe pals. Yeah. Oh, it just came N. Hmm. I think it was Nelly. No, <laughs> it just came back to me, but I forgot it. Wonky, this thing. It's the Look. sun, that's why. I know. It's the bumps. I know. The sun is making them. Oh, pipe pals. I can't remember. She's blind. 
No idea. I don't know. Alexa, what's the whale shark in Finding Glory? There's a hammerhead. Whale sounds enabled. Do you want to open it? No. Like, I'm, I'm doing my puzzle. I'm sitting here doing it, and you two are just watching me. You're not going to join in and actually do some work, are you? Just watching me. Wallies. These. The one that with the I'm going to do the one that we saw in that. We don't know what the name is. I'm doing her. What was he, Frank? What's his name, Frank? Yeah. Destiny! Destiny! Is Was it? Yes. I um, just, what was the octopus I'm doing, called? Um, Frank. Frank, yes. Hank. Hank. That's I'm doing Hank. So I've just had a Marks and Spencer's delivery um, from Hermes that basically I ordered it about three weeks ago and it never turned up. So I contacted Marks and Spencer's through their online chat and said, you know, it's just not here. And they're like, oh no, it's going to be delivered tomorrow. So I waited and then I waited a few more days. So this was now last Thursday. I messaged them and I was like, okay, look, okay. it's not coming. Um, I think it's lost. So they're like, okay, we'll email them. So they emailed them and then they got back to me on Friday and said, yeah, they've That's admitted so they've much. lost it. Here's a refund. And I actually got my refund this morning yeah. and now it's turned up. <laughs> so I'm going to have to, well, see if I, if I don't like anything, I'll just send it back and hopefully they won't double refund me. Um, but if I want something, I'm going to have to ring them and be like, okay, so you refunded me, but actually I want one of the things. Can I pay for it? I Honestly, I don't even know. I've never had this happen. So um, I'm going to see. They're bras, basically. I ordered bras ages ago. And because um, I basically, I have no bras that fit me. So we shall see whether these are any good. I mean... I don't know what size I am. I've been, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I've been trying different sizes and I, loads of you recommended boob or bust. So I re-measured myself and came out as a different size. The shops aren't open, so I can't just go and try on different sizes. It's really difficult. So um, yeah, I'm going to try these on and we shall see. Right, excuse my boobs, but I just want to show you I think this fits so there isn't any overhang besides obviously you're gonna get a little bit but um if it's really digging and giving you overhang like that you know it's too tight so that's quite a nice band at the back and then it sits nicely here it's not digging in and it's not like apart and then the cups themselves they do they go like around my boob this is a 36c when I was measured on boob or bust, I came out as a 32H. I mean, I don't know. But um, this fits. I would say this fits. You know, it. the straps sit neatly. And oh my God, it's the softest, softest cotton. It even says it's soft touch. Um, but this, this is Marks and Spencer's and it's really soft. I really like this one. Um, so, and you know, before my boobs were like hanging out. But I would say that this this fits me nicely, supports me. I feel I feel supported. I think that's a good one. So this one is a balcony bra, a balcony support, balcony something. And again, just a really nice fit. Um, you know, it's a bit tighter than the other ones, but not so much that it is uncomfortable. Just different bras, different fits. I suppose a bit a bit tight there maybe. I don't know. I did put it on a tighter setting, to be fair, I think. I think I put it... Yeah, I could loosen the strap at the back. Um, but that, again, nice fit. Right. right, now to show you what I've been wearing. This is what I have been wearing up until now. Like, I mean, it doesn't take much explaining, does it? You can see... This is just not, and the, the weirdest thing, right? This is the weirdest thing that I, I still can't quite get my head around, is that this bra that fitted really nicely, and as, as is this one, is a 36C, right? So you'd think, okay, I've, 
like if you if you're gonna lose weight or whatever your rib cage might go down or i don't know so the the weird thing is is that these are 36 c a c okay and they cover my boobs like that you can see the difference that one is covering it and that's a c these so 36 c covering me like that these are a 34 which you think okay fair dues you've you've it's too tight so it's pulling it d a d this is a d cup d cup c cup this is why you can't just be like, oh yeah, no, I was a 36D, so now I'm going to go down, I'm a 30, um, now I'm a 34D. It doesn't work like that. Your cup changes, even though your rib cage just changes as well. You might have to go up a cup and down a thing, or down a cup and up a thing. Like, it's we I don't even understand it. But this is a C, this is a D lunch time pretty much so um i'm gonna make che well cheese toasties is on the meal plan um but i also have some bacon to use up so i think i'm gonna do cheese and bacon instead of just toasted under the grill i'm gonna make them as like toasty toasty sandwiches um so i've done some toast and, um, i think i'm doing it all in the wrong order like my brain isn't working today so I need to fry the bacon. Um, we had a fry up at the weekend, so all this needs using up. William's having a fit and so he's gone to bed. He's not happy. I think he's just really tired. He didn't sleep very well. Um, so he has taken himself off to bed with his dummy. And then the girls are sick and tired of doing all, all the things. So they are going to watch the second Harry Potter movie now, The Chamber of Secrets. We've got all of the DVDs, but... Um, except two. Except for the last one. Um, so they're gonna watch Harry Potter now and I'm just so tired I can't face doing anything at all. The house is clear. I've done the washing, done the dishwasher. Um just so much to do. Work wise, so much to do, and I'm just my I'm just so tired. Do you have any idea how serious this is? You have risked the exposure of our world. Not to mention the damage you inflicted on a whomping willow that's been on these grounds since before you were born. I've decided that I'm going to go on a run. Um, I'm not in the mood, but I've realised over the last however many weeks since I took up running that um, you're never really in the mood. I mean, sometimes you are. You're like, oh, I really fancy it. But more often than not, I don't fancy it. But I do it anyway. And it's not because I'm punishing myself or anything like that. It's because I know that doing it helps me and afterwards I feel better like my mental health 
has taken a knock. I mean, you, you know, you can all appreciate like lockdown is crazy times. So we've all lost the plot a little bit and um, running has been a way for me to escape the four walls. It has been a way to be on my own when you're surrounded by your kids all the time. And it's just really helped me. So it's not been for a fitness reason or anything like that. It's literally been going for a jog, and and just clearing my head and um and sometimes like today i'm so tired i'm so tired and i didn't go yesterday but i know i will feel better it will just give me that boost that like burst of energy even though i'll feel exhausted after i'll just feel better for it so i'm gonna do it i'm pushing myself to do it but it means i've got to get changed i hate getting dressed and undressed and dressed and undressed and i've already changed my bra today so yeah i'm gonna uh, get changed and go I'm gonna do it. William's just come in and I was explaining to him while I was changing my bra to help uh, stop the jubbling boobies. And he's uh, trying on my, bar my bra there. <laughs> Look, it's as big as your head. <laughs> You're so funny. Yeah, so I'm all changed. Got my, my running leggings on, running bra and a top. Just go and put my trainers on and get my water bottle. I've got to put my watch on. I've got my AirPods. All set. All the gear, no idea. <laughs> well, that was a disaster. Um, we're watching, I'm watching the end of Harry Potter now because I'm back for my run. I was gone the full like half an hour, 40 minutes, but I limped round because as soon as I, so what I do is I, all right, you can stop the clapping now. <laughs> um, I walk for the first five minutes just to warm up my legs or whatever yeah. but I had to cross the road and normally well through lockdown that road's been empty and so I've just been able to stroll across but I had to quickly run across the road to not get hit by a car and so because I quickly sprinted over the road I've given myself shin splints and I tried to carry on I tried but every time I was trying to run where the shin splints like were all the way down my shins my feet were going numb so then I couldn't feel where I was putting my feet when I was running so I had to walk and I thought well, I'll either turn back now but I could have turned back and just come straight home or I could just gently walk all the way around so I walked I walked around but in hindsight I really should have just come back because now like I've got my legs out stretched but um I'm in a lot of pain um, and my feet are just tingling and all just all over tingling so it was a bit of a disaster really I probably just should have just listened to my body and not gone <laughs> um, but Adam you've got some lovely socks on there William very nice that what they used to look like they used to look like that did they long long socks is it oh right so what do they look like now oh right because they've fallen down in the day. Alright, oh, wow. But I keep them like this. Okay. I go weirdo. Good to know. <laughs> oh. What? We can't play. Um, Ow! The build. Anyway, so yeah, just when I finished. Have. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, oh, that's number two. Brother. So we'll watch number three another day. Tomorrow. Um, and what's the time now? Okay. Ten past three, so it's not quite time to do dinner. I don't know what we're having. I'm buy it's a sausage surprise tonight, I, I think. Like um, they've got ballet. They've this. got ballet in two hours, actually. I've got to message my sister. We're meant to be seeing my sister. We were meant to see her at the weekend, but it oh, rained, yeah, so we couldn't see her. And I'd said to her we'd go for a walk later, but now I'm not going to be walking anywhere, so she's going to have to come here and sit in the garden. So... And it's looking grim. I don't know what we're gonna do, but I don't know what we're gonna do now. Watch another movie, maybe. I'm not doing anything else. So I'm just draining the fluid out of my legs because apparently that helps shin splints. I put it on Instagram stories that my legs were hurting, and um, a few people that do dance commented and said, "Oh, you need to." drain all the fluid out so that's what I'm doing I'm laying here for 10 minutes and then the girls have got ballet in a minute so I can't stay here um or Lily does hers first and then Grace does hers online via zoom 
um, Anna and I will cook dinner. I've messaged my sister, I, was, I can't remember if I said I meant to be seeing her later for a walk. I won't be going for a walk, so I've told her to come and sit in our garden instead. So, message her, but you know, just laying here at the moment. It's all very next to a doorstop. Mrs. Squirrel next to me here. But, uh, oh, just, uh, it is helping draining them out, so I can feel the pain sort of easing off as I'm as I'm laying here so if you get shin splints and laying with your feet up it's the way forward have a measure of each other where are you there you are look you're up to my where my trousers get to you're up to there. No, put, put your hand on my head. Then, then you put Yeah, so you're up to where my trousers are, look. I can go there. You're up to Grace's boobies. Up to Grace's boobies. Up to there. You're a bit higher. Right, they are. Thank you. Thank you. Go and pop them on the table. Let's see if the sausages are ready. Oh no! Mm. Have you got hair bubbles? Yeah. Hair bubbles. How much people is in the family? There's just the right number of things. Everyone needs a fork. Stop turning your head. Everyone needs a fork and everyone needs a knife. So Lily does have a fork. Then she needs a knife then, doesn't she? I have a knife and you have a knife. Yeah. 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 Y
so weird having person in the house. Not that she was in the house, but you know what I mean? Just so weird having, well, she passed through the house and it was like, just stand back, just stand back. Um, but it was just nice to have like contact with somebody, like in your own thing rather than standing on the street, like you're actually sitting down, chatting. It was really cold to, to put my coat on. But, um, yeah, it was nice, I would do that more. Do that more. I had to take my yellow jumper off because it was attracting all of the bugs. They obviously thought I was a bumblebee. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put the children to bed now. And then I'll do some work. Because I didn't, my legs were hurting. So I'll have a shower now. Yeah, to tidy up the things.